Should you script your online course videos? Now this is really a personal choice. I would say to people that if it's the only way that you're going to face that camera and get that knowledge out of your head, then do it. However, I also want to say as somebody who's been teaching course creation, teaching teachers and educators in classrooms, schools, colleges, universities, governments, corporate organizations for years, I can tell you now, you already know your topic. And thinking that you need to script it is either you having a bit of imposter syndrome, which is completely normal, or you thinking that you need to speak like a newsreader because you have a camera in your face. And this is purely because being on camera is not yet natural to your body. I mean, let's face it, nobody falls out of the womb knowing how to talk to a camera. So again, it's understandable. But I want you to just take a step back when it comes to educating. What you're doing with your courses here is you are a human talking to other human beings. We do not walk into a pub to meet a friend or into a cafe to meet a friend or roll up at the school gates to pick up the kids and suddenly start talking like this. Hello, my name is Sarah and I am the CEO of Main Training and Techmatics, right? You don't, you just chat. And if one of your mates is like, oh my, I love how you've been putting your eye makeup on. What have you been using and how did you do that? You don't go, hang on a minute, I just need to write a script before I can answer this question. No, you would say something like, oh, this one. Oh, I actually got this one from so-and-so place and what I like to do is start from the outsides and pull it in and then I do my flick at the end. And right, you would just chat. You'd be conversational. You would share what you know, what you can recall in that moment in the way that it feels appropriate with that other human being. And teaching is very much the same. We're just talking to human beings. What is it they wanna know? Share with them what they wanna know. Share with them in the way that you would share with them if they were sat down in front of you. If you were going to speak in a physical classroom or on a stage or in an in-person workshop, you wouldn't stand at the front of the room and read from a script. I hope you wouldn't. <laughs> it would be very dull for the people watching, right? But you wouldn't, would you? Of course you wouldn't. What you probably would have are some notes in front of you. If you were teaching live in a classroom with people, you would probably have notes in front of you. You might have some slides. You might have some scribbled pieces of paper. And you would probably sort of pause every now and then and go, right, what are we teaching next? Ah, yes, we're going to be covering X, Y, and Z. Right, so, right, this is what you would do. You would take a few moments to just catch your thoughts. If you were talking to me in a cafe and you forgot what you were saying, you would be like, what was I saying again? Ah, oh, yes, yes, I was talking about my new dog. Yes, blah, 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 right? You would just talk and that's all teaching is. That's all looking down the lens of a camera is. Someone's asking you a question. How would you answer that if they were sat in front of you with a cup of tea in real life? Answer it like that. If you are convincing yourself you need a script, you are forgetting that you're just talking to another person. And the way that they will receive your knowledge the best in the most effective way possible is if you are communicating with them like you would in real life, as if they are a human being, <laughs> as if they need your help and you are simply there to provide that knowledge and expertise. So again, I'm not poo-pooing scripting because if for you it is quite literally the only way that you're going to film this course, I would rather you have a course that you're reading from <laughs> than have no course at all, of course. Of course, of course. Of course you want a course. But I also really want to challenge you to just remember to talk conversationally about your topic. You can pause at any point while you're filming your video, look at your notes, and cut that bit out when you do your editing. And I have some fantastic tools that I share in Concept of Course. One of them is called Descript, and that's simply you use the delete button to delete the bits that you don't want in the video. And deleting the text deletes that section of the video for you, right? It makes editing so easy. I'm gonna show you how simple this can be. You don't have to memorize your words. You can stop continuously every few words and look at your notes, keep the camera rolling, and edit those gaps or those mistakes or those bits where you tripped over yourself in between very very simply today finally just remember that being in front of the camera is extremely confronting when you first start doing it it's not that you can't present to camera it's that you haven't practiced enough yet and you thinking you need to script usually is just purely because your body is in an unfamiliar situation looking down the barrel of a lens
sense, right? And it's putting a physiological response through your body that makes your brain go into danger, danger. We don't know what this is. This is an unfamiliar situation, run away. When that happens, parts of your brain, your cognitive functioning slows down and stops. So of course you can't remember your own name the first time you start presenting to a camera. Of course you've forgotten the name of your own course. Of course you've forgotten how to put one word in front of the other into a sentence like you've been doing your whole life because your body's just in a physiological response mode until it realizes that you're not going to die by looking down this camera hole. The more you practice, the more you talk to this camera, the easier it becomes and the more your body starts to realize it's not in danger, it's just talking, it's okay, it's safe, those words will start to flow just like they would in a real life situation. So I recommend to people who are just starting out, just make a habit of turning that camera on every single day. Even if you just sit there and just talk through your day, talk through every single thing you did since you woke up and practice looking down the lens, not at yourself down here, look at the lens, not at yourself down here, and it will help your body just realize it's not in danger. And it will really, really help with that delivery aspect, saving you from having to script. So that's just the scratch of the surface there. Hopefully gives you some food for thought about how the process of filming doesn't have to be too overwhelming. Now in my concept of course program where I take you through how to plan, create the content for, film, edit, and do all the tech, and launch and promote your course, we do go into detail in how to film. I have filmed thousands of video thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So what you're seeing right now is somebody who's very, very well practiced. But once, I sucked. <laughs> if you look back at some of my early YouTube videos, you will see I was really, really uncomfortable. It was very nerve wracking. I was terrified. I didn't know what I was saying because I hadn't practiced saying my thing out loud. This all comes down to practice, but there are some really, really smart ways that you can trick your viewers into making you look like you have just completely and utterly fallen off of the filming cloud of perfection by simply using some very clever filming techniques that I use, even to this day, and the editing tools that you can use to cut out any of the mistakes super easily without having to spend money on editors, without having to be any tech savvy at all. Or even if you're as tech savvy as a carrot, you are gonna be able to use the tools that I'm gonna show you how to use on Concept of Course. So if you wanna get your course out of your head, into the hands of your students, finally making you some money, changing your life as well as other people's, come and join the Concept of Course. I will take you and 29 other people through a 30-day coaching program you get access to it for well over a year though, all right? And I will help you finally get that course out there with my guidance, mentoring, support, cheering on, and sometimes a friendly kick up the hoo-ha to get you going. <laughs> Come and join us at Concept of Course. I'll see you there.